A vulnerability in jQuery file upload could allow attackers to take over your web server. So, Manish, do you want to share something about jQuery with us today? That's right, Tony. So there's apparently there's a widely used uh, plugin uh, called jQuery File Upload, and it contains a, a vulnerability from back in 2010 that I guess has just gone unnoticed by you know everybody. The vulnerability affects about 7,800 different uh, so software applications mm -hmm. that are available, and uh, and it includes uh, remote code execution as. It's one of the uh, vectors. You know, this is not a this vulnerability doesn't exist in jQuery itself, but it's a plugin that's uh, that's an open source plugin. So basically, the plugin works with any like server side platform that supports standard form uh, file uploads. There's two uh, two PHP files in the package: uh, upload.php and uploadhandler.php. Mm -hmm. And um, they're under the server slash PHP uh, directory and the, that's where the that's where the vulnerability is in those. So basically, the upload.php file calls the main file, which is uploadhandler.php, and the vulnerability actually allows you to you can use a basic like like a curl and uh, a, a simple PHP shell and so push you can, it, like push a web push shell, push it right web shell right using that file upload. using that file upload thing. And uh, you know, and then once you have, once you push that cell, you have, you know, right, you can do whatever you want on the server, and you have root server. access to the server, right? Um, well, or whatever effective user ID uh, right. the web server is running under. Right, right, right. right at the could time. be Apache or something. Right, right, right. 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 There are many other projects that have forked off of this project from GitHub, which means that they're kind of importing that code base into their projects. So it may extend beyond just the initial project. There could be you know, several other projects that are also impacted by this. When you look at the GitHub um, page for this particular project, it's like forked 7,000 times right, or something like right, that. Right, right, right. Which means that there's probably 7,000 other people who forked a branch of code off of this initial project right. and might also have this same vulnerability right. in it. Right. So that does expand the scope as to, you know, where it might right. happen elsewhere. Now, this is one of those situations where there's no auto update. This is if the person installed it on the system, is still administering the system, knows about it and updates it. And there's some people that could be taking over these these web servers that have no idea that that's on there. Right. And I, I assume it would be, you know, easy for someone to sit there and poke at these web servers that are sitting on the internet and find this. Is that is that a correct statement? Um I don't know if it's trivial to find because I went out trying to find some myself. Um, you would probably the quickest way would be to uh, kind of search through Google. Right, so because Google walks the entire web tree structure, and it might wander across this jQuery file upload as being part of that, um, you know, that website. So that's probably the best way to find it. But I, I wasn't really trying very hard. Uh, I think that's how an attacker would probably put together a list of vulnerable targets is to do it that way. But it's definitely something, if you're aware that you're using this jQuery file upload or that you have some other code from another project that imported this, that might be something you want to be aware of because it definitely looks like it will allow um, uh, the ability for an attacker to, uh, without authentication, arbitrarily upload um, files. And those files could be executable PHP, which could be a web shell which gives them you know, very interactive access to the website um, or the server in general. So it's something you'd want to be aware of. I think it's, it's interesting that this has probably been vulnerable since 2000, sometime around 2010, and it's just kind of gone unnoticed, but has it really gone unnoticed, right? Has right. The bad, you know, have the bad guys been exploiting this quietly and do, you know, 
uh, compromising these servers. We, we don't obviously we don't know, but that's you know that's definitely a possibility. So if you have any types of file upload type activity on your website, you may want to make sure it's not part of affected by this type of uh, vulnerability.